guys and welcome back to my channel welcome back to the mentorship corner my name is Mianu Tandazo if you are joining us for the first time please click the subscribe button down below um, to join the mentorship corner family and click the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time we upload new content to my mentorship corner family welcome back and thank you for your continuous love and support on this video we are going to be sharing five beginner tips on how to do your financial planning for your finances because at the end of the day you want to feel in control of almost everything in your life all the things that you can control please do so that um everything else falls under fate and basically you know that you would have played your part in everything right so to get right into it the first tip is basically or the first step the first step is to understand your money needs and wants this is very very important because it actually kind of shapes the rest of the goals and the rest of the steps um so sorry it shapes your financial goals um which then gives you a sense of direction of what you need to do for the next four steps so first thing understand what your money needs and wants so understand what you need to finance and what you want to finance the difference is basically the words need and want the things that you need is things like um maybe you you want to buy a car you want to buy a house um things that you will need to add either value in your life or things that you will need to grow your portfolio your financial portfolio and all of that thing all of that jazz thing so those are the things that you would want to get and then things that you want are all the things that you do for fun so like getting a new phone um buying a new camera for traveling paying for vacations going on dates all of that jazz that falls under your wants so those are the things that you want your money to do for you so separate the two and then start planning your financial goals for your future so when you're doing your financial goals planning remember that you need to think ahead so it's not just about the year but also the next five years the next 10 years the next 20 years the next 25 years because you also need to know what retirement will look like for you and basically what you like in your 30s in your 40s in your 50s or whatever age that you want in the next future will look like right then moving on to the second step second step is basically you need to understand your monthly cash flow so to do this the best and easiest way is to print out your bank statement and highlight things that go towards your needs and things that go towards your wants and things that go towards your savings and investments that way you'll be able to calculate from a percentage to see how much money you actually spend on a monthly basis towards your savings your investments your needs and your wants once you know that you need to then work around your budget because this is going to help you with your budgeting tool so one know how much money comes into your account and know how much money pulls out of your account and that's when you do your percentages and know um where you're wasting money and where you can cut off um other expenses and do an adjustment so that you've got the percentages that you want for yourself and basically that match your financial goals so be quite accurate when you're doing this guys um so there's like some budgeting rules that go around um where you break down your budget according to percentages i use the 50 30 20 rule where 50 percent goes to my needs and necessities 30% goes towards my savings and investment and 20% goes towards my wants and basically pleasures. So depending on how you want to shape it and basically your financial goals for the next couple of years, those percentages may change and they may vary. And obviously if you can drop the ones and if you can drop the you know that the necessities do that so that you have more money left for your savings and then we are moving over to step number three step number three um basically debt guys work on your debt work on paying off your debt if you've got some debt um so first i basically recommend that you start paying off the higher interest rates shorter terms kind of debt first and then you can focus on the long term with the lower interest rate but that definitely depends up to you some people use the snowball effect um where you start small and then like it compounds and compounds and compounds that 
that is totally up to you but whatever the strategy you need to start taking care of that debt so that you have more residual income to start working towards your financial freedom the fourth step on this five step beginner guide to do your financial planning for the next couple of years um, is to work on your savings and investments so two things actually three three things that are important under this step is basically one have an emergency fund guys have an emergency fund have money saved aside for emergencies so that if you are in an emergency you don't have to now tap into your salary and basically deconstruct and um, destabilize your budget for that month so that we have, if it's an emergency i've got money on my emergency fund and that's where you take the money and sort whatever the emergency is the second one is retirement have money aside that you put away every month for retirement as early as you possibly can because that way you will know that you'll be able to retire a lot more comfortably and you won't be stressing out towards retirement you know you'll know what you've been working on your retirement for you know the the past couple of years the third thing under this is basically your savings and investments and this goes towards your wealth creation and your financial stability and financial freedom this can differ for each person because i don't know what your goals are but you need to have some money put away for your savings and investments so that you can then start buying stuff that you really really like um, have money to invest in your business if you would like to um, get yourself that luxury car if you really deserve it. Um, all the nice things that you want to be able to do yourself for you for yourself um, to reward yourself um, and create wealth for you and the next generation. That's basically your investments and your savings. So work on that. It's very 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 important and have a plan for that. And then the last thing that you need to do is basically if you've done all of these things and you have done them right and you have been honest and truthful to yourself, um, the last thing you would have to do is basically to grow your portfolio, which is grow your financial um, portfolio for wealth creation and your financial freedom. So for this part, you basically then would have to start looking at long term investments, long term savings whatever the case may be so that you basically have the recurring what's the word passive passive income so with this you're looking into creating more passive income streams into your into your finance financial portfolio so that you have a building your wealth basically and then important things um for this last step is that ensure that you are risk proof so if you've got cars make sure they've got car insurance if you've got houses or house make sure you've got house um, insurance make sure that you've got life cover or life insurance so that anything happens to you um if you had a debt the life cover pays off that debt and then your family gets money to try and sustain them for the next couple of years um, especially if you were a breadwinner in your family, this is like a very, very, very important step. And then the last and most important thing would be after all is said and done and you have worked hard and you have created the money, stability and the financial freedom that you've been working for all of these years, you need to have a will so that if you die, the assets and the money that you have worked hard for gets distributed the way that you wish it would be distributed and that will make sure that um, your estate planning is like to the T so that everything goes according to your plans and then to top it off just enjoy your life guys work hard understand what you need to put in the work for the first couple of years where you start building the foundation and putting up the walls and the roof but when you're decorating your house on the inside which is you enjoying the fruits of your financial freedom and the work that you've put in um enjoy it and, and, and celebrate yourself and yeah live your best life i love you guys absolutely a lot don't forget to like share and subscribe and on the description box down below i will link some of the videos that talk about finances and planning so that you would learn and grow i'm not a financial advisor so anything i say on this video it's definitely just 
things that I have been taught by my financial advisor and things that I have been taught by my reading and of course the biggest teacher of them all which is experience so happy financial planning and may you achieve your financial goals in the next couple of years and reap the fruits of your work I love you guys it's goodbye and